Hey there, HQTs. Are you ready to make those money moves? It's all about that shmoney. Now, everyone has been talking about Cardi B's epic debut album. It's already gone gold. Even Oprah IG or IG'd about it the other day. She's gotten so big, people's parents want to know what all the fuss is about. They're putting on the closed captioning, trying to decipher the lyrics. It's getting dangerous out there. So if you hear your mum yelling, what's poppin'? Just humor her, okay? I'm Sharon Carpenter, your inquisitive question master, and this is a true trivia where you use your brain to make it rain. That's right, I see you out there, players. Hi to Tay Holly, to Alex Wagner, Ben Bean, Jennifer Kelly, happy birthday to Dave Rosenfeld, to Rachel Posen, Beth G, Mark412, Cutmaster Sarah, and Martha K as well. Here's a hot tip using your friend's referral code to give them that extra life is a great birthday gift. Now, if this is your first time playing, the rules are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You have 10 seconds to tap the answer. If you get it correct, you move on, answer all 12 right, and you win or split the cash. And today's prize is a party pop in $5,000. That's a nice stash of cash right there. You could stop an invasion of privacy with that bag, get your teeth fixed, or put diamonds all over your body. Well, one diamond at least. But before you waste it, you have got to taste it. It's time for Q1. What does a small hand on a clock typically indicate? Hours, wolves, dumplings. I've been staring at those digital clocks for too long. Hope you remember this one. If the small hand indicated wolves, I'd be out of there in seconds. The long hand indicates the minutes. The short hand indicates the hours. Of course, we've got 802,658 of you clocking in with a win there. When there are dumplings around, the only thing I need a clock for is to time how fast I eat them. Love dumplings. Q2. What are French fries usually made out of? Potatoes, leeks, lettuce. My guiltiest pleasure right here. I do love a French fry or a bunch of them. Nothing sounds less appetizing than lettuce fries. I'd be sending those back to the kitchen for a refund. Only ever acceptable with this ingredient. It's potatoes, of course. Those potato french fries, 709,341 of you frying your way towards that win. Chili fries, waffle fries, curly fries, I'll take them all as long as they're made with spuds. I'm a greedy girl. Q3. Which of these is a common breed of cat? American short hair, border collie, Great Dane. I'm a cat person. I used to have a cat called Snowy. Yeah, I hope you're not barking up the wrong tree on this one. Border Collie and Great Dane are both good pets. But the only cat here is the American Short Hair. The other two are dogs. 747,565 of you with the perfect win there. The American Short Hair was brought to us by settlers who relied on them to hunt rats. Us New Yorkers still do. Q4. In construction, steel rods that are used to reinforce concrete are called what? Rebars, rebuses, rebukes. What do you think? Hopefully you're reinforcing your position in the game here. Concrete is pretty tough, but it's never bad to be tougher. Short for reinforcing bars. It's rebars for the win here on Q4. And 683,930 of you with the rebound. In the U.S., a lot of rebar is made from recycled cars, appliances, water heaters, and anything else they can get their mitts on for cheap. Q5. By definition, where are people known as Turkmen from? Turkmenistan, Turks and Caicos Islands, Turkey. This is kind of a tricky one. They get harder and harder. If you're from the Turks and Caicos Islands, you are known as a Turks and Caicos Islander. How did they think of that one? Turkmen, who are actually men and women, are from Turkmenistan. That is the answer we were looking for, and that was a savage question. Utterly savage here already on Q5. Just 196,496 of you are still with us, holding on tight. People from Turkey are Turks. Jive turkeys are from those 70s action movies. 
Q6. Our solar system's main asteroid belt lies between the orbits of which two planets? Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, and Jupiter. I'm not talking about that funky new belt you got from Gucci. I'm talking about outer space. Now that we've mined the heck out of Earth, we have got our eyes set on the asteroid belt. It's not too long a trip either. It's between our neighbor, Mars, and Jupiter. That's right, Mars, Jupiter, here for the win. 96,066 of you floating to the next round with zero gravity. The minerals out there include gold, platinum, and titanium. Get Elon on the phone, please, so he can boost me up there next. Sounds like my kind of place. Q7. What is the name of the company behind the classic Doom and Quake computer games? Id, Super Ego, Ego. Hopefully you'll be quaking and not doomed after this one. Freud divided up the mind into the id, the ego, and the super ego. The game creators got their name from the bad one of the bunch, the impulsive, the selfish id. That's the name of the company. 51,149 of you are still with us. Lost about 40,000 players there. Now, while I'm sure some of you do have a super ego, it actually refers to the moral and altruistic side of us. Yeah, it does. Q8. Which of these U.S. presidents was never impeached? Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, Andrew Johnson. Three bad boys. But who was never impeached? Only two U.S. presidents have ever been impeached, although I haven't checked the news in a couple of hours. He was short on the fast track there, but quit before Congress could get to him. Richard Nixon never impeached, and that was a tough one. That was brutal. Not quite savage. It was brutal, though. I'll give you that. 21,582 of you still with us. Now, Clinton and Johnson were impeached, but later acquitted. Close but no cigar. Q9. Dr. Charles Drew's greatest contribution to medicine was in what area? Cardiology, hematology, osteology. Three ologies here. Which one's going to take you to the cashology? No celebrity rehab wasn't his thing. That's a different Dr. Drew altogether. Cardiology deals with the heart. Osteology with bones. But Drew was a blood kind of guy. Hematology is your answer 10,805 of you making the right diagnosis there he pioneered methods of storing blood and was behind the country's first large-scale blood bank and you are one step closer to the bank getting really close q10 which of these animals is not known to have passed the mirror self-recognition test magpie dolphin gibbon unlike us animals who are always up in the mirror now, if you don't recognize your reflection, you've either had a really bad makeover or you are failing the mirror test. The animal here who may step aside for itself, it's the gibbon, the primate. The gibbon is your answer. Does not recognize itself in the mirror. 5,224 of you recognize a right answer. Now, while your dog barks at the mirror, magpies and dolphins just like to admire their own looks. Our penultimate round here, players, which is both a type of subatomic quark particle and a Motorola smartphone, spice, charm, up. How well do you know your subatomic quark particles? We're about to find out. In 2010, the new hotness was the 2.8-inch screen and half gig of storage on the latest Motorola. It wasn't the third go-around, but it was a charm. And charm is your answer 2,793 of you with the charming win there. Three is a charm when it comes to the charm quark. It's the third most massive of all elementary particles. And you know it's time. Time to move on to the final round. 2,793 players left in the game. $5,000 cash. Up for grabs right now. Who is about to take home that win? The world's largest living single stem tree is named for a soldier who fought where? Battle of Shiloh, Battle of Bunker Hill, Battle of the Bulge. Are you about to win this battle? And take home that cash. 
Tulare County, California is home to the largest single stem tree in the world. It's named after General William Tecumseh Sherman. He fought for the Union in the U.S. Civil War, notably at the Battle of Shiloh. Battle of Shiloh, your winning answer. We have 1,496 winners. You killed it. <laughs> Congratulations! Congrats on 1,496 winners still left standing at the end. You are splitting that cash. You are taking home a nice three dollars and thirty-five cents. Not bad at all for a Thursday afternoon. We've got Mal McKinney, who looks like she's getting a little sun right there. Where are you hanging out? We've got Max Sandifer. Uh, who else do we have? We've got Rich Chris 90 and a bunch of other winners. Well done. You should all be feeling super proud of yourselves. What are you going to do with the cash? You could take it to the bank, not the blood bank. This time the real bank. Maybe get some lettuce fries. They sound absolutely delicious. Not another Fantastic game, HQTs. You came, you stayed, you slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Come and find me on Twitter and Instagram. Say hi. Let me know how you did today. I want to know. We'll be back, of course, at 9 p.m. tonight with another great game. And another $5,000 will be up for grabs. So until next time, see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Woo!